Well, the new RW5 by Silka is out. Now, if you've been in the uh, locksmithing uh, community at all, you know of Ilco's or Silka's RW tools that have been kind of the staple in the industry for a lot of years when it comes to cloning keys. Now, this is the new one, the RW5, and I wanna have a little bit of fun with it. Now, all I've done so far is I've taken it out of the box. Oh, and by the way, don't throw the box away because I don't see the serial number anywhere on this little RW5, and so you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you record it to keep it for your records because if you throw your box away like that, well, it's gonna be a little more work to find that serial number to get your machine registered. On my Mikey's Pro app on my phone, I have registered it and hooked it up and I've also charged it. Outside of that, I have not cloned a key with it yet and I'm excited to do that with you. But before we get crazy and have a little fun, let's first kind of talk about some of the uh, basic features and benefits. And the first is, of course, this is a cloning tool, right? So you can take an existing key and you can essentially take all the information on that key and you can clone it onto another one, right? This has been out for quite a while. Another thing that you can do is you can identify the chip in the key. Now that can be helpful even if you don't clone keys because uh, it's nice to be able to see what the key it is that you may have to be programming and or working with. And lastly, something that probably doesn't get enough attention when it comes to the RW5 tool here is the ability to generate a transponder chip. So in other words, if you needed a Y160 key or a Y170 key and you didn't have any, but you had some of the Ilco chips, you could just make one really quick, which is really cool. I'm really glad that they've really put a lot of integration into this machine for that. But let's talk about chips, all right? So the chip that the RW5 uses is the GTI and the GTH Pro, which essentially replaces five different chips. You know, if you've, if you've been a part of the process for very long, you know this is how it works. They come out with an initial chip and then some new technology comes out and then there's a new chip for that and then a new technology comes out and there's a new chip for that and so on and so forth. So it's nice to see them kind of catch up and uh, kind of put all of them in together back into one chip. What I'm most excited about um, with this unit without even using it yet, A is the price point is uh, way way, way better than they've previously been um, historically. And it's essentially all cloud-based. Like I said, I mean, this thing uh, uh, is essentially bigger than it probably even needs to be because you're essentially using your phone and you're using uh, it to connect to the internet. Now, that kind of brings up a problem. What happens if you live in a place with bad internet or connections? Well, you're gonna have to consider that wherever you go to make sure that um, you're gonna be able to connect and get it done. But all in all, I think it's actually a good thing that it's a unit like this. And that's because um, as new technologies come out, well, we wanna easily be able to incorporate those for the least amount of money that we possibly can. And so um, essentially having to remove like a hardware element like this in the future or a bunch of add-ons is really ideal. So it's really nice to essentially just move to the cloud base. The only time it's not nice is if you live in a place that doesn't have good internet. But hopefully that will change wherever you are if you have that problem soon. But one other quick thing to add, then we're going to have some fun, and that is the uh, snoop, right? So there are some vehicles that you are still going to have to use this because, well, you need to snoop or sniff, whatever uh, term you like the most, some information on the vehicle. So when that happens, you need this. But outside of these two things, this is really all you need at the moment. Without any more uh, further ado, this is what I did is I grabbed a uh, GTI Pro chip. And I also grabbed a Y170 chipless key that I'm gonna go ahead and slide this uh, chip into and I cut it to fit my pickup. So let's head on out and let's give it a try together. It will be my first key cloned with the RW5. Let's go. Still got it. All right, so I have my existing Fabic. I have that Y170 uh, clonable key, right? The Y170 blade with the GTI Pro chip in it. And of course I have to use the U-Snoop 
for this and uh, the, the best part is it's kind of the most complicated version of what you can do on this soft on this uh, RW5 so it'd be a little fun to uh, play around a little bit so here we go so what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna hit that copy button and then it's gonna have us insert the key well as you can tell a phobic can't really insert that it's kind of weird but we're just gonna set it up here and we're gonna hit Okay, now the interesting thing here is what you can see is the what the screen is showing and what my uh, the app is showing is essentially the same exact thing. So um, you can just use your phone or just use the RWP5, but you do need to have them, you know, by each other um, in order for it to work. All right, so it says uh, insert, snoop, and continue. So I just like to just kind of set this up here. Once again, you can't really insert it. The, that's kind of weird to me, but hey, let's put it up here and hit okay. I guess we'll reset it. Okay, so it says acquire two minimum sniffs. So I'm gonna assume it means with this, so let's go out there real quick and uh, get those. All right, so we have our uh, Snoop. I have my existing key. We'll know when we have it because we'll see a little LED light pop up here. So we're gonna stick this in. I'm just gonna hold it up here with it and then go ahead and turn. Okay, there we go. So I've been playing with it for a little bit. Put them in here, we'll see. We got both of them. So we are good. So we can take this back up to the RW5 and let's uh, get this done. All right, so now I'm gonna take this back, put it up here. We go and hit continue. This is insert original key. Take that, put it up here. Okay, I was asking for the GTI. I mean, I guess I should be sticking it there in that hole, but I'm so used to doing it without. You'll have to forgive me on that one. All right, insert original key. All right, this key back up. Look what we have there, operation completed. So I tell you what, so we went from having this Fobit key to having to have the vehicle present on this one, which, um, and having to use the little sniffer here, the use snoop, and getting ourselves a Y170 key. I don't know, you know, I think the process is uh, interesting. Um, it's nice, it's this nice portable little unit. That's really handy. Of course, on um, it's about as complicated as the um, Silka gets with having to use the, the Snoop. And so we have a working key and that is what is most important. Now hold on there, you thought I was gonna be done and not even try it. Of course we're gonna go try it. Let's go. All right, moment of truth. Let's find out together. Look at that, it worked. You know, it's always nice when you get through going through all those steps and it actually works. So um, I'd love to know what you think in the comments below. Of course, we'll put a link to the RW5 in the notes. I think my real opinion is this. I think that if you're used to the RW machines, this is a great improvement. Um, I don't know if my internet was slow today or the server was having problems. It was a little slower than I was in anticipating but uh we'll go ahead and um ask goko about that and see what they think so anyways thanks for watching we'll see you because you now need to use their mikey's pro app to clone you need this um, but outside of these two things this is really all you need at the moment Oh, and by the way, do not throw your box away like that because... 
Well, I guess this is the end of the video and it's time for you and I to part ways until next time. But hey, before you go, I really do wanna make sure that you know that when you comment on our videos and you include the hashtag LockBoss, you automatically get hooked up to win cool stuff that we give away live here on YouTube every Tuesday. So we'd love to have you join us. We'd love to have you comment and I look forward to reading them soon.